This is the quickest and easiest way to change your guitar strings. First of all, you want to get yourself one of these little doodads. Now, I bought this on eBay or Timu or something like that for like four pounds. Now, this one is like it's got some features on it that aren't amazing and i couldn't tell you what the brand is but it is basically like a drill so here i have my acoustic guitar and as you can see it needs a new string so for the purposes of this video i'm going to show you how to change just this one string and then rather than boring you with all six i'm going to go and change the rest of them off camera if you're new here my name is barry and and i'll teach you how to play guitar so if you're not following me already, please subscribe to the channel, follow me on TikTok and all that other good stuff, like the video, and tell me something in the comments. So first of all, what you want to do is you want to take this little uh, bridge pin out. Now, this little doodad does have, this is what I meant by features, it does have a thing that I can only assume is meant to fit. I don't know if you can see that, but it's meant to like grab your bridge pin. And there's also like a slot like sort of here in thingy that's meant to grab your bridge pin and it doesn't but what more do you want for four quid just get yourself a little pliers you often get these in like christmas crackers and stuff just get this grab it pull it out don't worry you won't break it hopefully let me just get that little bit of string that's useless take it out get rid of it do not lose this as much as you won't break them and they're replaceable it's a pain in the backside when you lose one and you drop it and it like disappears into nothing so try not to lose this let's un let's unwind your string on this end be careful when you're up this end of the guitar because they are pointy and they will hurt let's get our strings now in this case we are looking for the g string so we're going to have a look at that on our packet of strings now strings aren't named by the note that they're made they are named for the gauge at which the metal is at basically what size they are for example this is a gauge 12 string i have a set of 12s for my acoustic guitar so the gauge goes from 12 to 40 12 to 54 in this packet so the high e string for this set is going to be a gauge 12 on an electric guitar the high E would be a gauge 9, meaning that it's much, much smaller. And your B string could be a gauge 12. So if you were ever wondering what those numbers were, now you know. So we're looking for a G, which is a gauge 24 in this pack. If you don't know which is which in your pack, just take from like the smallest, which is a 12, and count up. So we need the 1, 2, 3, third string. So count up. So you get to the third one and that's your, that's your string. Now we just unwind the string. I find the easiest way to do that is literally just unwind it once and give it a, an owl whip. There it is. Remember I said don't lose the bridge pin. I think I've lost it. Oh no, I have it. So, now I just want to make sure that you're getting the ball end into the hole of the guitar. Then we get our bridge pin and we make sure that this little slot, see how easy they are to drop. Make sure that this little slot is facing up the neck so basically when you put it into the guitar you want the string to sort of slot in to the pin put a string into the guitar put the pin in next doesn't you don't need to doesn't need to be extra tight it will just tighten up naturally and we pull the string now simply all we need to do is you don't need to keep it under tension or anything like that thread your string through the tuning head pull it slot it into the nut Stick it on to make sure it's going the right way. Tighten it up. Now I would normally wrap the string round the post a couple of times, but this is the easiest way to do it, and you don't necessarily need to wrap it round the post. There should be enough slack in the string that it wraps around once or twice anyway. But if you did want to wrap it around the post, that would be the kind of the correct, correct way of doing it. Now I've just used the tuner that's on my guitar to tune it up to G, and there we have it. Once you've brought your string up to tension, you're gonna have like a little bit in left over unless you snip it at the start. Now this will put the string back out of tune a bit, so let's tune it back up. And then once it's in tune, you want to stretch it a little bit. So I was always taught to stretch it back here at the nut, or as close to the nut as possible, maybe over the sound hole maybe. Two or three pulls and that's going to put the string back out of tune once more. And all that is doing is that is releasing the natural slack that's within the string. Think about it like the string needs to settle. And then it should stay in tune. That is how you change strings on a guitar. If there's anything that you need help with in terms of guitar, please leave me a comment and I will do my best to make a video on it. Or if you have any questions, comment as well. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel, like the video, tell all your friends, and I'll see you in the next video.